Station 14, back to basics versus reflex. And we are back here live in the Meadowlands for the first event of the 2009 season where we've got a can't-miss matchup, and you're here, so you're not missing it. It's Final Boss taking on the Incredibles. That's right, Farouk. The match I've been waiting five seasons to see. Ogre 2 versus Ogre 1. Checking out Final Boss here. They are the higher-seeded team coming in at our number three spot. That is going to be Ogre 2. Macchio, Victory X, and Fear Itself. Now, tonight and the rest of the weekend, they are going to have to focus on these three factors for keys to success. We have Ogre 2. He needs to lead the team. He's the captain. He needs to step up, tell the guys where to go. And, of course, they need to play explosive. You have awesome snipers on your team. Don't be afraid to let the power weapon shine. I cannot wait to see the sniper back in Ogre 2's hands. And then, of course, you see my third one there. It's Victory X and Ogre 2. I just said on the pregame show, the player to watch here this weekend is going to be Victory X, and you're going to see an awesome, awesome amount of support coming from Ogre 2. That's Final Boss. They're wearing red, but on the other side of the stage, they're facing off against the blue team. Yes, they are, Chris, and they're going against the Incredibles. We have Mihal. We have Mantra. We have Tupac, and we got the superstar, Ogre One. And, and their keys to success for this match is they're going to need to forget the competition. They need to play like they have nothing to lose. They need to make sure they stay up on their communicating teamwork, and Ogre One has to lead by example. But, Scott, what do they really have to do here against Final Boss? Who do they need to shut down? They need to shut down Ogre Two and Victory X. Uh, and we'll, we'll see if they can do that. We're going into a best of five series here. We're going to be kicking it off here with a Narrows capture the flag. We saw a few, few games going on earlier. Pretty exciting stuff. Narrows, of course, the first team to capture three flags will win. You got to go to the enemy's base, grab the flag, run it back to yours. That's how you cap. Of course, you're going to be looking for players to control the rockets down low and the snipers at either end of the bases. We're starting this one off, coming up right now with Tupac here from The Incredibles. Now I can't wait to watch Tupac here. He's the Halo 2 pro I was talking about earlier. He is the, one of the funniest guys to watch. There you see his pretty mug. And Tupac is being taken down and over one jumps the sniper off. Meanwhile, Mackiel overkill extermination to start the game here, Scott. I missed it. I did. That's incredible. <laughs> to say the least. So already, final boss, 30 seconds into the game, running the flag. And, you know, I apologize to those at home. I miss it as well. Macchio just grabbed those rockets and put them to work so quickly. Meanwhile, we have Fear itself moving the flag into his base. Macchio is on a killing spree, and the first flag is going in. So it is already 1-0. But I'm staying on board with Macchio. He's staying alive somehow top middle. And there you see him catching Pac with the battle rifle. Macchio, the question mark for me here from final boss. Are you impressed by his gameplay to start this one out? This is the best start you could ever ask for, Chris. To start off with an overkill extermination, then be on a 6 free in a position to pull the flag, you can't ask for much more. And now you see him waiting, letting his teammate run the flag. Over 2 is going to grab it. He's not dropping the flag, trying to juke out Pac. And there you see Macchio is going to be the fullback here. He is going to push up first, let Over 2 run behind him. And there you see the double team from Victory X and Macchio, but they just got shut down by Mantrain. Ogre 2 still running the flag. Sticks Mantrain on the leg. He's going to be able to keep that flag alive. We're going on board here with Fear itself, and Fear is just continuing to win battle rifle battles here for Final Boss. They're simply outclassing the Incredibles here in the opening game one. Macchio picking up the flag now off of Victory's, or Fear's body. He's going to run it into his base, not getting shot at. Great protection from Ogre 2, Victory, and Fear there. And it is now 2-0. Just two minutes into this game, people. This is absolute demolishment here from Final Boss. If it's a word, I don't know. If not, <laughs> put it in the dictionary. So Macchio is on fire. Picks up another kill on Ogre 1 here. I, I can't, you know, I was looking, waiting for this match because I really wanted to see how good is Final Boss. And right now, you know, their shot is solid. Nah, I can't believe this, Chris. I mean, I actually trusted Ogre, too, for once. And when he said they were well-practiced and he was going to compete for first, they are coming here to compete for first, Chris. Oh, my goodness. Macchio picking up a kill. Ogre, two picking up another one on Tupac. All four dead momentarily there for the Incredibles. Two of them spawn Mantrain and Meoff, but already both of them with half shield. Macchio's going to take down one while Victory is going to beat down Meoff. And now Macchio's got the sniper. Are they going to have a little fun here? Or are they just going to focus on the objective? 
I think they're going to seal this deal. I mean, I think Ogre 2 wants to prove to his big brother that, you know what, I'm better than you. Yeah, good, good try, Dan, but you got to try harder to beat my squad. Right now, Macchio is still on the killing spree, dominating in the incredible base. And he's going to clean up the kill here on Mantra. Mantra going for the stick. That one's not going to work. And finally, Pac is going to end his spree. Pac's got the sniper rifle. I got to watch something from the Incredibles. I want to see either what's going wrong or what's going well for him. But right now, it seems nothing but bad things are happening to this blue squad. But I mean, right now, Pac's doing everything right. He's controlling, waiting for his sniper or uh, his teammates to push up so he can use the sniper. And he's doing great positioning right now, waiting for his teammates. Same old, same old. All right, well, Pac picking off a player there with that sniper. Called out another player at his left box. Looking to see if it looked like it was Victor X. He's going to poke out, but Victor X has juked him. He is already back on L1. Pac not really knowing what to do here, but he's going to get set up here in the right attic with the sniper rifle. And there you see him putting it to use. He didn't pick up any kills there, Scott, but he dropped two shields. How big of a move is that? That's huge. Those two players are taken out. They have to be patient, and they have to let their shields recharge. That gives Incredibles a good way to make a push for the middle control that you need to have to win this game. Right now, we're checking out Miyoff. Now, Zach Miyoff, interesting story behind this guy. He applied to be a rep before being picked up by Ogre One on the Incredibles. Great guy to hang out with. Instead, he decided to play this season. But, you know, he kind of gave up on competing. He wasn't planning on showing up with Meadowlands, but he's, he might be a player to look out for this season. He may be. He's one of those sleeper players. You're not really sure. I mean, Ogre One clearly saw something in him. Now, we got a, we're only a, about four and a half minutes into this game. You know, the Incredibles right now are down 2-0 to final ball. Oh, Macchio! Ah. <laughs> Go ahead. You know, Go ahead. We, we got to call it out. Macchio is playing sick, two killing sprees in three minutes. I mean, that's ridiculous. But going back to the Incredibles, are they even right now in the same zone as Final Boss? Well, right there, you just saw four dead for Final Boss. The Incredibles are showing some life as Tupac is going to pick up the triple kill with the sniper rifle. Ogre One moving the flag into his base. Meanwhile, Pac, Meoff, and Mantrain all in perfect position. And Ogre One almost putting it in. He is going to get stopped short. We're jumping on board with Mantrain. He is trying to stay alive, taking shots from behind, holding that B button, Mantrain. Yeah, he's got it. They scored on Final Boss. Who would have guessed off of that start? And that, you know, that is just a small victory. That is just one. If you get one flag, you can get two flags. If you can get two flags, you can get three, and you can take game one from FB. That's the mindset. Hawk is down, and he just called out Fear itself, who had the sniper rifle top middle. You see Fear in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. He sits closer to the TV than any other pro on the circuit. And Gandhi, you actually have a story about this. Yes, I do, actually. He has a way to line up so he has a set, set amount of distance. He takes his pinky and he has his thumb, and then he takes his other pinky and his thumb, and he lines it up with his nose to the TV. So he basically makes a W with his hands exactly. and positions his nose to the TV. The only player I know who has a set distance. Oh, well, it seems to be working, whatever he does, because he just picked off almost impossible headshot there on Tupac, now setting up for the kill on me off, getting help from Victory X. And Woo! now you have Final Boss trying to get in position to move a third flag. Macchio's got the rocket, Spears got the sniper up top. Over one charging, challenging, shouldn't have done it. That's fair. He drops the grenade, easy killing spree, and there with no shield, he pokes out to get a shot on the two block. It looked like. Meanwhile, Macchio, he is just hiding in the incredible base, and Fear is gonna clean up his own kill there on Pac. Ogre 1 going over the man cannon, trying to get behind Fear, who's set up, but Ogre 2 saw him, called it out. Mantrain finally taking down Fear itself, but I want to jump on board with Mackin, because he's just sitting in the incredible base, and now he's moving the flag top middle, and he's got the rocket, so before it comes to worst, he's dropping and shoot the rocket just like that and pick up a kill. I just read mine, psychic sometimes. But Pac, did he get the return there? Yes, he did. Pac going clutch there, getting the return for... For the incredible, incredible, I can't even talk, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to jump on board with Mantrain. He just picked up a nice four shot on Victory X. Now going against Ogre 2. Almost showed you, showed Mantrain getting a double kill. Couldn't pull it off for me. Mantrain, I'll make you look good at least once this match. Ogre 1 getting the kill going over the Mantrain. We're going to go over the Man Cannon. We're jumping on board with me off though. Now you see Ogre 1 going up against Victor X in the base. He's going to be taken down. Meanwhile, Pac tried to do some damage in the middle. The Incredibles, they really just need to push as a team here, though. Yeah, 
Ogre one grabbing that sniper rifle as he heard him say in the pregame interview. No one on the team is allowed to touch it. Pac, he broke the rule a little bit earlier, but now we're gonna see what Dan can do. He was one of the most feared snipers in Halo 1. He still got the talent. Over two, finally taking him down. We're gonna jump on board with Tom as Fear itself is gonna run the flag. Ogre two with the Mauler sniper combo. Not the best weapons there to protect the flag carrier. Especially on narrows. You gotta have a BR to lay down some cover fire for your teammates. 